Some of NASA's latest space dreams came crashing down in central Australia today. A giant helium balloon packed with expensive scientific instruments lost its mornings in high winds. As Anna Henderson reports, it cut a swathe through an airfield and sent onlookers running for their lives. As the giant helium balloon was launched into the air, its precious cargo became a high-speed projectile. Unexpected strong winds pushed the two-ton platform of scientific instruments off course and onto a path of destruction. Justin Trotter's car was tipped over. He can be seen here running for his life. They started losing control of the uh, payload. We started to move the cars and just barely made it out without getting, uh, without, without getting smashed. The couple sitting inside their vehicle right next to his car can barely believe they survived. There was just lots of noise and we thought, really thought we were gone. It was just an instance of uh, chaos outside. We were expecting to be wiped out. While Justin Trotter was inspecting the damage, NASA scientists were picking up the pieces of years of work. It's not clear whether anything can be salvaged. Everybody is feeling very down about it. A quick look showed that there were bits that were uh, in pretty good shape. But to be able to expect that to be put together within a month for another launch seems unlikely. The glad wrap thin giant balloon came down in a nearby field and will be thrown away. The balloons are launched into the stratosphere carrying cutting edge telescopes that help give astronomers and scientists a much clearer view of space. Organisers say they are relieved no one was hurt. We are very particular at the balloon launching station not to see this as a circus and invite people to come and watch the launches simply because of the risk factor. One balloon was successfully launched earlier this month and NASA is adamant it will have another ready for takeoff shortly. But after today's events, spectators will be told to stay away. Anna Henderson, ABC News, Alice Springs.